This is my friends and I struggling in our third year of engineering the night before a midterm. Sanan, Tosin, Edmund, Rafael, and me, Tamer. It doesn't make sense because if, if sigma b is zero, then like, then they're using the wrong equation here. Then you should be using a different one. Every failed midterm, confusing problem set, job rejection was just a little bit more bearable when you had friends around. But it all just ended on a random Tuesday in 2021 with no celebration. Fast forward to today, two years later, we all have somewhat stable jobs and we decided to plan a squad trip to Hawaii. I'm sharing our journey and our trip with you to motivate you if you're stuck or struggling and so you can see what it's like on the other side. Picture this, it's exam season and you're spending every waking moment in a small conference room with the same group of people. You're studying for some course that honestly doesn't even make sense. I mean, you're bound to go insane. <laughs> We'd sometimes reach the point where we'd get excited about the silliest things. This new method, we can do it. Five prime. Five prime? Five prime? It's just, like, it's worth yeah, yeah, it's just like the actual Five prime and it's worth, no, worth 30. Yeah, I, so. I don't know how you do it. Oh my god. Juice. Oh. I take my sweet time, bro. Five prime? I don't even remember what we're excited about. It could be one of our birthdays, Valentine's Day, or any holiday, and we'd still be in the conference room studying. Cool, 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 cool. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's cool. Once, once, once. Look at my baby. Oh, don't you have a part? Like, yeah, that's that's one count. Like, from Jesus extrusion. This part needs to be smart. Oh, that's so. Pretend this was green. Yeah, I'm a mess. I mean, we definitely have moments where we'd get distracted too and talk about random things. You're allergic to cats and dogs? I'm like, alright. Well, I've been around dogs Jeez. and I haven't gone allergic. So they're like, yeah, you're allergic to like pine trees. I'm like, oh, true. That's definitely what's causing me. Powerhouse Girls? Okay. The mayor's wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She never, she's yeah. never framed you. Well, this is a wife or secretary? Oh. And I think it was secretary. But she never fit. It's always her head. It's always hidden. No. I think that was just our coping mechanism. You said you knew how he was from the first day you met him, but at that day you didn't actually know him. Bro, but I knew and I was right. I was right, and you know it, you know it. This is the kind of beef you have to deal with here at Comics Gag. Yeah, so this is how we study. Everyone is on their phone. We're, We're done studying. Are we? We're done studying, We're, We're done already. Is this is his feature, rappers and end. Yeah. Just proof that I used to know. <laughs> <laughs> These jokes are literally what kept us going. It was all fun and games until you're walking back home from campus at 1 a.m. after spending the entire night trying to finish a lab. Yo! Sup? We'd also have some small wins like a really good grade on an exam or a project or getting a job interview for a company we really like. So we try to take some time out of our day to celebrate that. <laughs> Sorry. Yo. Jeez, how fun is the game? You're actually. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Just playing a little FIFA or COD honestly just does the trick. That's why you're losing three nothing, bro. That's why. Shut up, bro. If you're a man down, you'd be winning. You have a red card. You don't, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> you have a red card. In I don't know what you're saying, bro. I'm gonna score now. Say it not to score. <laughs> we also had this dream of all of us working at Apple together. Up. So we just got, we all got Apple interviews today. Uh, oh if you're watching this five yeah, years later, I know you later, didn't get it, it's so fine. It's if fine. you're watching this five years later, and we didn't get it. Like, what do you think is going to happen five years from now? The date is October 2nd, 2019. It's been four years since that video, and except for one person in that video, none of us ended up getting those Apple jobs. We'll see you guys in November 5th, 2019, inshallah. This guy, this guy, this it's guy, okay, man, don't worry about this it. guy, as okay. this guy. We'll be all going to Cupertino, the San Francisco Bay Area. However, that part did come true because we all did end up getting internships and full-time jobs in California. We definitely didn't know it at the time and we didn't see it coming and we doubted ourselves. However, between the five of us, we were able to get jobs at Apple, Tesla, Meta, and a bunch of tech startups in the Bay Area. If you were to tell those guys in the video that, they probably wouldn't believe themselves. So yeah, I think it's definitely something worth celebrating. Now, most people will graduate and celebrate by traveling, but we graduated in the middle of that pandemic so we weren't really able to do that until one text in our group chat in 2023 everything you need anything you please 
I can make it easy Okay, I know you don't need me Listen to your feelings to make the most of it, there are five challenges that I set out to accomplish this trip. One, catch some sick views. Two, do something uncomfortable. Three, have a genuine conversation with complete strangers. Four, do something that scares me. And five, swim with fish in clear water. Tell me about your dreams, do you see me all the time? Cause I see you in mine, OMG is at a sign. Sorry? So I can cover Oh no, it's recording me, it's recording me. Oh, yeah. Hold on. yeah, it's recording me. What say? Are you a blogger? No, I'm not a blogger. But I could be. We got charisma. This place is nice. I'm not gonna tell you why just yet, but I'm gonna regret saying that later on in the video. To complete the first challenge, we had to Waimea Canyon State Park for some sick views. Let's be serious. Stone cold serious. Find somebody like me. You must be delirious, you must be delusional I try to bang out the second challenge by doing something uncomfortable. You know, something outside of my comfort zone, like hopping the fence and getting closer to the view. But... What are you doing? Yo, I'm just standing here, I'm serious. Stay there, I want to take a picture of you. Bro, what type of municipal water are you running? Just just be careful you don't set them into a slippery rock. Bro, if you slip off freaking waterfall video... If you slip off it, you are instantly dead. Like, I didn't jump into... I didn't go here. I got you in the picture. But this better be the better not be the blast picture of you before you die. Does that not look scary to you? Maybe they had a point and maybe it was a little bit unsafe, but like so yeah, maybe I'll do something else outside of my comfort zone. What meat is this? Chicken meat. Oh thank you. For our hike. I actually have less of an idea of how long that hike is. Okay, this is a hot take, but I don't think TikTok is actually bad for you. But what I'm saying is, if you spend time on TikTok, you train your brain to look for instant gratification. Oh, and we always have to have some kind of argument about social media. But that was it for day one. On to day two, we get up and immediately drive to our hiking spot for the day. Back in my zone, leave me alone, all that I know. I can't go back out there all on my own. You know I won't do's and the don'ts of life. I guess that's how you live and you learn all that I earn. I was out here in my polo shirt hiking in the rain in the hills of Hawaii. Although this part wasn't too too fun, hiking in the rain super wet was definitely out of my comfort zone. So I'll check the second thing off my list of challenges. Man, I didn't think Hawaii would be so rainy. And that was, that was rough. I had to just chill in the car for a bit. I'm just hoping it's not raining the next couple days because I thought Hawaii was going to be a lot more sunny. This is literally what I was wearing. This shirt and these shorts. Yeah, let's see what's next. Maybe swimming in the beach during the rain would be kind of fun. kind of want to try that. To your feelings. Tell me how you feel. Tell me about your dreams. Do you see me all the time? Because I see you in mine. OMG is at a sign. OMG, are you for real? Here's the difference between being stuck in the wilderness and being stuck in the middle of the ocean. Oh, the ocean the is just a wilderness, but you have an extra variable that you don't act, that you can't control. Exactly. That's exactly. the problem. Exactly. You know, actually, it's, it's not that different than being on land. The thing is, the fluid that is running through your ceremonies, cer mm -hmm. the medium is different. Damn, we're just nerds. Even after graduating, we still like to think very logically and methodically about random topics. Everything good so far? Yeah, mm -hmm. like, we're just falling apart. <laughs> Tell her, bro. <laughs> Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. What? Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it! <laughs> okay. What's that? What's that? What's that? Firmly grasp it. How do you remember every single SpongeBob episode? I don't know. But that was day two, on to day three, where we're gonna be ziplining for the day. Hit it from the back, then I'm Audi. Shit, any not a Audi. Rode off in a Audi. Rode off in a Audi. Spin a black, bend a corner. Late night organ donor, Northern California loner, caught a life crisis stoner. We were walking through the hills of Hawaii with a bunch of other people, ziplining off one hill to the next. I think there was like maybe a total of nine or ten hills we ziplined off of. Cheapers. Object detection. Figure out where you put it. Yeah, like I remember part of the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, nerds. But as I was flying through, I mean, I genuinely felt just pure bliss. Right? No, you didn't. Oh, that's crazy. My eyes started tearing up. 
Really? Yeah. Because of the beauty. Yeah, I'm so sick. This is not sick. Yeah, that was cool. Right? Thank you. Awesome. I was about to say Africa. I see. They're surprisingly fast, but you think the day is over? Nah, nah, it's not. Well, some tourists recommended Hanley Pier where we can jump off of the pier there and kind of have the same experience as we would if we were cliff jumping. No, oh, I don't know about this. Come on, come on. I don't know about this. I don't know why I'm so scared. It's not scary at all. Three, two. The best things are usually on the other side of fear because after I did it, I was so happy. Amen. Freezing. In the cold water, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, on Kauai Island. Bro, we were talking to some next German guy. Bro, it was crazy. I never saw his face, he just had long hair. It felt like you were talking to an angel. Right after we left, he was gone. I didn't even know what his face looks like. It's crazy. He had some deep talks for life, miracles, religion. Oh, there he is. You know, it was worth it because I was able to check off two things on my list of challenges. First, I was able to have a deep conversation with complete strangers from Germany visiting Hawaii. Second, I also did something that scared me. But as happy and excited as we were that day, that night took a turn. Because we get home to our Airbnb and it is absolutely filled with termites. Some of us take the vacuum and just start cleaning them up, while others try to get in contact with the Airbnb host to see what we can do. See if we can get a refund or have someone come in to clean the place up. We even set out traps to lure them and get rid of them. Also, usually termites really love humid environments, so if we set up fans to make the area less humid, so yeah, that's why I definitely regret saying this earlier. This place is nice. But that was it for day three. On to day four, where we woke up to some good news. Having to sleep through a couple termites on the floor isn't ideal, but hey, it's free, it's free. Everything you need, anything you please, I can make it easy. Okay, I know you don't need me. Listen to your feelings, tell me how you're feeling. Tell me about your dreams, do you see me all the time? Cause I see you in my no the whole activity for today was a three hour boat ride where we can swim in this really clear area with fish and then we spent about 30 minutes swimming and then another three hour boat ride back to the shore. I even got to pilot the ship for a little bit and of course while we're here we had to take some bangers for Instagram. But in some of these moments here I think I genuinely felt like the main character in a movie. Finally came the moment we were waiting for to get into the water and swim with fish. Ah, come here. Come back. I'm trying to swim as fast as I can. 40 catch days and 40 nights. Just your tracks today. I can't be here with you on my side. Yeah. You got something that I cannot write. Yeah. I know that. I know that. I got bands falling on my jeans. She gon' get it by any means. It's okay, girl, cause things ain't cheap. I know, I know. You got people all in your pants. Them boys talk like they came from France. Talking we like they been your mans I know, I know the, know the, You look even better than your photo Those 30 minutes literally flew by Because before I knew it, we had to get back in the boat And go back to the shore But hey, I got to complete the last challenge on my list But the ride was a bit rocky Literally, almost half the passengers on the boat felt sick And ended up throwing up Puking everywhere, bro. Okay, bro. So We even made this meme about him throwing up It's funny, but it's all out of love Poor guy. We three were having a time of our lives, talking to the crew, asking about their experience. So, prefer cleaning out a truck you want or a salary? Edmund really asking some good questions here. Yeah, they're all the same. Have you ever got any vomit on you? No. No, some people have horror stories, you know. Hey, I cannot relate, and they trying to take my place. We are not the same, ha, no. 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 And it wouldn't be a fun trip without testing my calisthenic skills. Wow, that is a strength right there. That is the witness pushing it. That is freaking strength. The wind is pushing that. But that was it for day four. On to day five. We were still living with termites, but we made our peace with them. First step is we drive from our Airbnb to Hanalei Koki. Right, we get lunch over here, Sick. and then we drive. Oh, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can stay here for probably like maximum like 10, 20 minutes. Okay, right? knows how to plan. But instead of the pier, we're actually on the beach this time. So now we're here. Then we spend around like six hours here because we know how much time we need. I got a reservation for 9.30. It's an hour and a half drive from here to here. Sick, sick. So get the food and go to the beach. 
why would no. we get the food? Then we go, go to the We're going to food, lookout, and then beach. I think, I think we go lookout, food, then beach. I agree with that. Sure. Alright, that's fine with me. Alright. Look at this. Everyone take this video of me and Rafi just running to the beach before you came. Oh, that's sick. Let me see. Here. Yeah. This is it. Oh, yeah. Because you guys playing. Can I keep it away with you for sure? You got it. Hunting mission as a group in the in the water. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. Oh, yeah, gang up on one fish, and then when, once we catch it, what do we do? Cook up. Eat it. That would be so gas, bro. Find like a local Hawaiian, be like, hey, we caught a fish. What should we do? We can cook it ourselves, oh, bro. You say you found a fish, you grab it out of the water, you can you can you can eat it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Like without getting sick. What? What makes you make that assumption? You hear it somewhere? I saw it in the movie. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's probably yeah. true then. Yo, if any of us were to get stuck on an island, who do you so think would survive? Snap? The longest lead time to, to, to die. I have probably the best chance of survival just yeah, because I have the most but fat stored on my body. That's what I'm saying with lead so time. If we all die in starvation, I would. Yeah. 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 You got any words? Like, subscribe, comment. It's worth it, right? It's worth it. It's worth it for sure. Just keep joining. Wow. It's okay, girl, cause things ain't cheap, but you know, I know. You got people all in your vans. Them boys talk like they came from France. Talking we like they been your mans. I know, I know, no, no. That was it for day five. On to day six, the day we were leaving. You got Edmund dancing, Rafil feeding some cats, and our last drive together back to the airport. As work gets busy and life picks up, the friends you used to see on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't see as often. You'll be lucky if you can see them once every few months. It all started in a conference room at an apartment building we used to live at near campus. We spent so much time in that room. Some weeks we'd spend every waking moment there studying. That's why we sort of called this group Conf Gang. We each struggled individually, but having people that we can relate to, make jokes with during uncertain time made a difference. Having a shared struggle may suck in the moment, but it definitely helps in building a strong brotherhood and friendship down the line. I appreciated every moment of this trip, the fun times, the jokes, the termites, and even the silly arguments we had about what to do next or where to eat.